Hello and welcome to Capital Online TV. My name is Anita Deru and these are the stories making headlines. Deputy President William Ruto has asked the leadership in Parliament to crack down on alleged corruption in committees. He has therefore warned Jubilee MPs to steer clear of corruption, saying the coalition has high standards and will not condone graft. The Deputy President was speaking in Nyeri on Thursday, where he was the guest of honour at the Christ is King seminary celebrations. Na tumewaambia wale wote wanausika. The Jubilee administration is not going to be party to any corruption in parliament, in the executive or anywhere. Wale wote ambao wanahusika na hii mambo haya yote haya wajue wajue chuma chao kimotoni. The First Lady Margaret Kenyatta says her office is partnering with various stakeholders to support cancer prevention and treatment programs in the country. She says this is in light of statistics that show over 3000 new cases of cancer are reported in Kenya every year and half of these result in death. She regrets that Africa has some of the highest cervical cancer cases and mortality rates in the world given the already high HIV prevalence among women. The first lady made the remarks at State House Nairobi where she launched the 9th Stop Breast Cervical and Prostate Cancer in Africa conference to be held in Kenya on July 19th and 20th. The launch ceremony was attended by, among others, the First Lady of Namibia, Madame Penehupifo Pohamba. In Kenya, there are 3,000 new cases of cancer every year, and half of these result in fatality. Cancer already kills more people globally than HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria put together. As the World Health Organization's Director General put it, Non-communicable diseases are no longer a disease of affluence. People in the developing world, especially Africa, are therefore experiencing a dual burden of communicable, communicable and non-communicable diseases such as cancer. A new study by Ipsos on underage drinking in Kenya indicates that most minors who drink alcohol are brought up by single parents. The report claims that children raised by single mothers are worst hit at 59% compared to those brought up by their fathers at 41%. We ask if you agree. Well, I don't, I don't agree with that, actually. Uh, I, I feel it's more of the environment and um, how you're brought up, you know. So it doesn't really matter if you're raised by a single mother or both parents. It just uh, depends on how... Well, you brought up. Not really, but now I'm not curious because they are a corner for the figure. Maybe not as a suburbish like I don't think. Oh, I don't think so at all. Yeah, I think single mothers are able to raise their children in a proper way. It's not. It would not cause something like that. I think even if you have two parents, the, the child would still be prone to underage drinking. It depends on various factors. In a depend will you may bring up daughter Wako. Ukibonyesha ama kama umuangali sana unajua kuna single mothers wengine wenye wana time na watoto wao alafu ile lifestyle yenye unaishi vile unaishi pia ina ina inafanya mtoto akue na hiyo tabia mbaya juu au una time ya kumwangalia and across the borders, a drone strike in Somalia last week killed a senior al-Shabaab figure linked to the 2013 attack on the Westgate Mall in Nairobi a U.S. drone raid struck a vehicle carrying Adan Garar, who was believed to be a key operative responsible for coordinating al-Shabaab's external operations and was connected to the Westgate massacre. He was specifically charged with the responsibility of bringing in the weapons that were used during the attack and is believed to be the one who bought the Mitsubishi Salon car that was seized in front of the mall after the attack. The attack is said to have led to his promotion to the rank of a commander. EGG Pay is a new service from Nairobi City County aimed at making life easier for residents. You can now pay your parking fees with EGG Pay conveniently with no hassle. No more hide and seek with parking attendants. No more tickets. No more bribes. To pay your parking fee with EGG Pay, first create your e-wallet if you haven't. Dial star 217 hash. Enter your details as prompted and create your e-payment pin. Top up your e-wallet via M-Pesa or Airtel Money using business number 147147 and your phone number as the account number. Finally, you can pay for your parking by dialing star 217 hash. Select two for parking. Select either one for daily. Enter vehicle registration number. Select your closest area number. 
select vehicle category, confirm payment transaction, confirm your EGG pay pin, then await a text message for confirmation. The process will take you just 5 minutes but will go a long way in making your life easier. For more information, go to epayments.nairobi.go.ke or call 0788-200-000. EGG Pay means your right to expect service. EGG Pay, malipo kwa urahisi. And from the business desk, the United Kingdom says it is working with the Kenyan government to have the travel advisories against its citizens coming to Kenya fully lifted. Visiting British Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond says his government is in close talks with Kenyan authorities to deal with terrorism challenges as a whole. In September last year, the UK relaxed the travel advisories to Nairobi apart from Italy but maintained a warning to Mombasa and towns bordering Somalia. Hammond was speaking at a Kenyan National Chamber of Commerce and Industry meeting after calling on President Uhuru Kenyatta. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Still on the business news, Deputy President William Ruto says that Kenya will host the Africa Travel Association Congress in November. The Deputy President says Kenya is eager to host the Congress as it will go a long way in promoting the country's tourism sector. He says the government has put in place firm security measures to contain acts of lawlessness, including terrorism, which have previously hindered the development of the sector. He made the announcement from his current office on Thursday, where officials from ATA had called on him. Our partnership with ATA is really very, very important, and it comes at an opportune time for us because we are working on... Um, uh, uh, recovering uh, the tourism sector here in Kenya and as you know the, the American market is a very very important one and so it will send the right signals uh, to the world that Kenya is safe to visit uh, that Kenya is back into the market and so um, we, we're really looking forward uh, to uh, receiving the delegates and now we take a look at the financial market Mount Kenya Holiday Homes and Golf Resort is a breathtaking development located in Narumoru, Nyeri County. The development was awarded the Best Gated Community Development Award in the 2014 East African Property Awards. The development is situated on a five-star golf resort and is made up of 95 holiday homes, each on half an acre. Other attractions include a nine-hole executive golf course, a clubhouse, forest conservancy, and recreational area for homeowners and guests. They make an ideal investment opportunity with high rental income potential through managed renting to local and international tourists. Easy payment options available with installments prearranged at the time of signing the agreement. Mount Kenya Holiday Homes and Golf Resort. And now we take a look at the sports news where national sevens keeper Andrew Amonde is confident that Kenya will maintain their core status in the World Sevens Series. Amonde says they are looking to start next weekend's Hong Kong leg on a high to qualify for their second main cup quarters in what has largely been a disappointing season. Kenya will take on USA, England and Wales in a tough pool B. Meanwhile, Kenya Rugby Union chairman Richard Omwala says he will restructure players' contracts to see that they are harmonised across the team. Speaking at his first official function following his re-election, Omwala was keen to underscore the importance of the performance contracts introduced by his predecessor, Mwangi Muthe. The new contracts are not welcomed by the senior players who went on strike in protest, paralyzing preparations for the current season. And that is all we had for you today. For the latest on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. I'm Anita Ndero.